Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'll be talking about how in MATLAB you can actually uh, read the data of a particular text file and then use it in your program. And then we're also going to look at how uh, using MATLAB you can basically uh, transfer your result into a particular text file. So uh, here this is basically the text file that I would be using in my code. And uh, one more important thing that you must keep in mind is that your program which will basically open up this data file has to be in the same folder as where you basically have your text file. So as far as you can see my text document, uh, the variable nn that is present here will be assigned the value of 2, the variable any will be assigned value of 1 and so on. And I just want all of you to focus on this particular uh, column matrix. So it basically has 4 rows and it's 1 column. So this basically variable uh, this values you will get assigned in the uh, variable pload. Okay, so uh, as you can see the syntax of this particular uh, code is pretty simple. So what we basically do is that uh, we will open this text file and then we'll, we're going to read it uh, and store uh, the entire thing in this stiffness uh, variable and uh, Using fscanf, we are basically going to read everything, every data. So percentage d indicates that the data that is there in the text file is an integer value, and percentage f indico indicates float value. So as you can see that here, uh, when we were basically looking at p load, uh, this uh, matrix has four rows and one column. But as you can see here, I have actually uh, given four columns instead. So in MATLAB, actually, when you are uh, reading up the data from a text file, it basically takes the inversion of it. So if there are four rows, then you'll have to store it in four, four columns. So now I'm going to uh, execute this program and we'll see what the output of this program is. So as you can see that if we uh, look at this payload vector, it, it, it's basically assigned values like this. And uh, the variable nn is assigned value of 2 and any assigned value of 1. So after this, uh, what we're going to look at is how uh, using this, uh, how using MATLAB, you can basically uh, copy all the data uh, of the results that you have into a particular text file. So as you can see in this particular program, what I'm going to, what, what I'm doing is I'm opening up a data file, which is uh, a particular text file in the write mode. And then uh, using fprintf, I am basically uh, uh, printing all the data that I am that I am getting out here in the text file. So uh, this is basically uh, the syntax. So if I am say having a global stiffness matrix of say two cross two, uh, then this particular uh, per syntax uh, will ensure that the uh, line, the global stiffness is as follows, gets printed in an appropriate manner. So I am going to show you the output uh, in a little while. So here what I'm what I'm doing is actually if we basically have a 2 cross 2 global stiffness matrix which is denoted by kg then uh, th percentage f percentage f basically indicates the two float values that are going to be there in the first row and therefore this gets printed out in the uh, text file so this particular program I have repeated it for different values that I want to have as an output in my text file and now I'm going to execute it and we're going to check out the results that are there in the uh, text file. So if you see, uh, this was basically the text file that we have, uh, in which we basically have stored our, all the results. And you, as you can see, the formatting of it is done in a very proper manner. So the uh, global stiffness line is printed like this, and we get the matrices in this particular form. And uh, the rest of the uh, vectors are also can be easily uh, written like in this format. So uh, this is basically the way in which you can uh, open up a text file, read the data, and also uh, write uh, your output of the program in a particular text file. And so hopefully you are basically able to learn this particular aspect of MATLAB, which is uh, quite important in coding. And thanks for watching the video, and feel free to leave comments in the comment section given below. Thanks.